little Sheila Florence down there. She, a lot of people associate her with, well, in maximum security, don't they, darling? <laughs> you were incarcerated in a very successful series, which I found <laughs> riveting. Oh, I used to adore prisoners. Is it still going, Sheila? I think How so. How is it managing without you, darling? <laughs> what I loved about prisoner was you could be away for about three years, you'd go back, turn it on, and... <laughs> it's amazing to pick it up. When I was a young actress, even before I was an actress, she lived in St Kilda, which I think, as John Michael Howson knows, was the Sydney end of Melbourne, really, where, let's face it, common people lived. And I mean C-O-M-M-O-N, with the exception of you. You lived in a terrace home before they were even fashionable. I darling. still do. You could never call that home of yours fashionable, either, could you? <laughs> loved it. I felt, can I say now, I felt I was slumming it in a nice way. <laughs> and you had the first Windvale flagons ever seen. Ah. You know, the first time I met Sheila, she had, or Lizzie, she had a Windvale flagon under her arm with a baby's teeth on the top. <laughs> and City Club cigarettes she used to smoke. City Club cigarettes, they're the ones that fell to bits as soon as you lit them. <laughs> They did. You felt you had a mouth full of very fibrous plum pudding. <laughs> and you had the, well, the, the, the bohemia of Melbourne. And I was just a young actress, my eyes like saucers. And there you are, a grand lady and a mature lady of the entertainment world, loaded with honours, award-winning and gorgeous. Sheila Florence. to little John Michael.